Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Let's get into this. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now... I think there might be new dialogue in this. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Never mind. It did say a single new thing. So, um... We have to get dressed and then talk with the Chamberlain. We are here, kind of talking. Uh, we found Yen, or Yen found us more so. Um, so we've got to choose our outfit. That looks silly. That's better than that one, and that's better than all of them. So we'll take this. And then I guess I can just get ready with it. Huh. <laughs> I just wear this. This is funny. <laughs> you look handsome, Geralt. Alright, Amir. Hmm. Or Amir's That's Chamberlain. Amir is the ruler, what Emperor. Do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is <laughs> to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh... I'll be a little sarcastic. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner, not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, right, left leg forward. Right hand on chest. Or this is absurd. Nah, I'll just do it. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. So I can, like... Use the Igni. Will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Got you. There's so much going on in this game. I'm a witcher. I work for pay. I will bow. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. So they do speak a completely different language. Understood. I thought you bowed before no man. Oh, I do? Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Okay, so I am still kind of... Eh. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. I, she's back, you sure? Are you sure? Siri, 
I have the wrong idea. You're far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanifu will do that after the audience. Okay, I... <clears throat> Sorry. I thought Cirilla was Queen Coanthe's granddaughter and was not at all Nilfgaard blood. Or maybe she gets captured by Nilfgaard and taken in as a granddaughter. I'm not sure. I know Geralt eventually got her and trains her as a witcher. Like, from what I get off the original dream. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but we'll see. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Oh, shoot, she is... Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh, I need info, not motivation. That's a good thing to say. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. All right, Amir. I have no clue what's going on with Siri. I don't understand, I guess. Yes, Fen, as Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. <laughs> so, who is Siri's parents? I don't want to look anything up. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. Hello. Coming to disturb a lady. Rod sleeping there. Shoddy bear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That'll ruin some immersion. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Yennefer? Why are we walking so far? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Understood. I'll go talk to Yen then. Yes? And transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the Can I steal things, maybe? And the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that please wait your excellency. Falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. Intrepidly. Okay, maybe don't take these. They will definitely get me. Hey, Yen. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. And it seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. I feel as though I need to watch a recap. <laughs> uh... 
Yeah, all grown up. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Anir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. I... What's the wild hunt want from Ciri first? The wild hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or... It helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> when I leave... These whole things books and scrolls wow just the absolute dedication they put into this stuff like some intern wrote that whole thing you know a 
I'd love to read that, though. Jennifer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. I am trying to limit my magic communication. One who never knows. I am delighted you have found a position in the Empress Corps, and you wish the best of luck in the search for this daughter. It's good to know that Amir's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Oh, was he trying to... So this was her trying to... He did try to use her. I don't understand. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch a recap of games one and two and figure out everything that's going on before my next episode. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to learn it all on my own, but I've already really got confused. So I think it's a good idea. In response to okay, uh, perhaps in these circumstances, an agreement regarding the lodge would prove possible. In response to your first question, I can say beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of Yaruga. Yaruga. Oh, this is from Fringilla. I'm not having any contact with Triss. I don't know. Okay. Can I take the map or the picture of Siri? Scars healed nicely. So dope. So freaking dope. But you can take all the reading you want. It doesn't even add to weight, I don't think. But I could take all this. Oh, it's a crafting diagram. I'll take that. Oh. Huh. I would love to see one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, what's his name? Uh, Living Sun. I would love to see him do this. Because I think he would give this a full... 200 or so 250 episode playthrough i think he would read through this perfectly love this lore i'm not sure he hasn't already played through it though i was told to talk to this guy ask you about current events the war and so on of course the emperor's servants do keep no secrets from each other if you will let us approach the map Huh. I how what the, oh do I just ask these questions? How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, in a vain hope I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Oh, shoot. I don't know what's going on. Kedwin by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Brotherless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Va Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Okay. I, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say thanks. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. That's May awesome, dude. Sun light your path. Oh, shut up, Sir Solaire. So interesting, man. How deep some of this writing is. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, bunches. The emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. We cross the Yara, we will cross the Podcast. Alright, well now we have a job. An important one at that. We've got a side quest though. Mm -hmm. Fine, play me England. <laughs> Ah, well, I only have one. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Oh, so th this is why you learn Gwent. I don't want to play this, bruh. As much as I appreciate... As much as I appreciate some of that stuff, like the world building and having a whole card game inside of your game. I'm sure people are very good at that card game. I don't particularly care that much. It could be used as a tool though to win some coin. But still. You can place your own markers on the map. To do so move the circle cursor in the desired location press square. To place a special marker hold square then um, you can only place one default custom marker at a time, but you can place up to ten of the special markers. Okay. To switch to the continent, press triangle. Let's go to the triangle. Alright, to, to return to the map of the region. We, yep. Got it. To open the map of a given region, move the cursor over that region, press X. So if I press triangle, I'm back in. Or, yeah, here's Vizima, and then if I press triangle again, I'm back out here. So, I'm going to Velen. I can go here, but can I back, kind of like zoom it? Yeah. So I can fast travel to Velen. There's a bunch of notice boards, but I'm tracking a specific quest, and I'm not seeing. <laughs> Yeah, um... Oh, I think the idea is to travel to Velen. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Okay. Look at that griffin head. All right, thank you for purchasing the Hearts of Stone expansion. You currently track quest has been changed to the first quest. Oh, yeah, we only recommend starting if you can have fun and good luck on the path. Okay, so I could start the DLC whenever. Great, it's not some crazy Dark Souls type hey, deal. Yeah. While playing Hearts of Stone, you can encounter a rune rate. 
Mark, okay, and they recommend for at least being level 30. Oh, and then here's the blood and wine. A poet under pressure. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get some action going here. What do y'all say? some action. Don't really need raw meat. Okay, so we did end up killing something today, which is really what I wanted to do. Alright, Roach. Let's at least get a little closer. Let's get a little closer to the end. See any quest? Oh, there's a quest. What? What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one. I'm oh, heck yeah, oh, heck yeah. I know your kind don't work for free. Yeah, I'll do it. I am right, broke as can be. I have this zero coins. The more good one works in life, the Literally. more Literally. hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set a light, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Move it! Alright, let's find these bodies. Freaking eat anything other than bread. There was water. Okay, that makes sense. Heck, I'm I just used Igni. Okay, there's a body over here that I have to set on fire. No, then a shot of Igni. Oh, I see. There's one. He's telling me this way, so I'll go this way, I guess. Is that a freaking bear? Let's use something else. Let's do. do no damage. Oh, I... 
It's my under. Just like a Dark Souls boss. Goes the bear, baby. Heck yeah. That was fun. That was a fun little fight. Alright. Let's keep working our way over here. I don't know if I was supposed to fight that. That was a level 6 bear. I don't know. I thought it was fun. That's not looking fun. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. that maybe let's go ghouls give up anything ghouls blood monster ear should i just take everything i feel like that's probably the, the right thing to do all right no, once we finish this quest we'll call it an episode igni is definitely the best um Igni is definitely the best, like, thing I've used so far. Magic skill. Why did I take ashes? I'm an idiot. Poor horse. Anything else here worth taking? Probably not. Oh, wow. That next one is a long ways away. gonna go for it. Uh, it's a long ways away, but I'd rather finish this quest and get on my main quest before the end of this episode, so let's do that. No, not really. We might come back around at one point. Let's break off here. We'll walk the rest of the way. I'm worried about baddies. Each one was guarded by some baddies, so... The wild dogs. Do that whole thing. Because in that case, I'm called Jackson. 
Or is it just going to put me right in front? There's no real checkpoints or like bonfires or anything, so I assume it's just going to put me right in front of the fight. Hey, that was unfair. Shoot. I got to get better at blocking and dodging and all that jazz. Roach, come on, dude. A little quicker than that. Okay, and I also want to figure out how to put my freaking food in a slot. Oh, I can equip them. Got it. Well, it's fine right now. I've got plenty of food. For the future, I just gotta do whatever with it, you know, equip it when I need. Alright, through the village again. Alright, Igni works well on dogs. It did not work as well on the other thing. so fast roach so let's switch it up I got it I don't want to aim that I want to switch my thing we'll do we'll do art usual just a larger delivery good customer i thought then they whipped out blades we talking about the priest of the eternal fire we still talking about a priest of the eternal fire i'd say so beat stained pricks can't be trusted this one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times everything perfect but the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroying the evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? I want your Nothing. coin. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. <laughs> How oh, nice. How oh, not nice of homie. Now for a shot of Igni. Yeah, I'll say it again, Witcher. Holy cow, it's far away. I would rather not do that in this episode. We will do it in the next. If you like the video, <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.